Hello, I'm Jim Brewer, and this is part two of our video on the Easy Longer ES960 battery that's really designed to operate CPAP machines, but it could be used for a wide variety of electronics and, and so forth. So in this video, I want to show you how to set the voltage uh, for your CPAP machines. And I've got two different CPAP machines up here. But most importantly, how to know from your CPAP machine what the voltage should be. Because obviously you can't set the output unless you know what it should be. So uh, let's dive right into that. And there's actually two ways you can find out what that voltage should be. You can um, look on your power supply for the CPAP machine, or you could actually test the output from the power supply with a voltmeter. So either way, we'll get the job done. So. All right, this is the power supply for my AirSense 10 machine. And if you look right about here where my finger is, it shows that the input, that's the power going in from the plug, is 100 to 240 volts AC. Um, I know it's AC because of that squiggly line that represents alternating current. And then right below that, it says the output is 24 volts DC. And I know it's DC because it has the solid line above it with the dots below. That's the symbol for direct current, okay? And direct current is the type of current that these batteries put out. So um, on this machine, I'm going to set it for uh, for 24 volt output, okay? I could also test the, uh, the voltage output. So let me unplug from, uh, from the machine and I'm going to uh, set my voltmeter. Okay, so I'm going to test the voltage. I've got the power supply plugged in, and I'm going to put the ground terminal on the outside of the uh, plug, and then I'm going to stick the positive or red on the inside, and you see in the meter that the output from this power supply is 24.26 volts, okay? Um, and that corresponds to what the label says, 24 volts. The 0.26 is really insignificant. Okay, so two different ways I've verified that uh, this AirSense 10 machine uses 24 volts, okay? So, now that I've established that, I need to set the battery for 24 volt output, okay? So, we will do that here, and the, the V volt, uh, symbol is the voltage selector, so I long press that, and you see it shows 12 volt, it's flashing. I hit it again to 16, hit it again to 20, and finally hit it one more time to 24, and the 24 volts is flashing. Let me zoom in on that a little bit so you can see it. You see, so now I have this set for 24 volt output okay uh, so that's what we need for the air sense 10 machine and then i'm going to plug in the cable 
into uh, the 12 volt jack. So, okay, so the battery is set for 24 volt output. And then I take the proper cable. And remember, the, the machine came with four different cables for popular CPAP machines. And let's compare this to the output cable from my AirSense 10. Yes, they look like the same size and so forth. So I should be able to plug this right in here. Okay. And just to be on the safe side, we could test the output from here and look at it on the voltmeter and make sure that I'm getting 24 volts out. So here we go. And yep, I'm reading 24.28 volts. Okay. So I feel comfortable that this is going to power up my CPAP machine properly. All right, we're going to go ahead and plug it right in. And I can see that the display is on. Go ahead and just put it on. You can hear the air leaking out. So that's a winner. All right, so that's the AirSense 10. That's my current machine. Um, and we'll start doing some performance testing tonight and see how long that the battery supply will power this machine. And I'm going to do two different tests. I'm going to test it first with the humidifier on the way that I normally use it. And then I'll also do a second test with the humidifier on. I mean off. Yeah, I'll do a second test with the humidifier off. Um, probably will get quite a bit longer run time that way. Okay. All right, so that's using the uh, battery set for 24 volt output for my AirSense 10. Okay, now we're also going to look at my older machine. Um, this is a Philips uh, RimStar machine, and uh, it actually has a second part that attaches here that is the humidifier, but I use this like this without a humidifier um, when I travel and I just use an inline moisturizer um, with it. So um, let's see, here is the power supply uh, for the RimStar machine. Okay, right here by my finger, you can see where this machine has 12 volt output. The power supply is putting 12 volts DC out to the machine. Um, so in this case, we'd set the battery for 12 volt output. I'm going to test the output coming out of here, same way I did before. I put the negative probe on the outside of the cable and the positive probe inside and it's reading 12.32 volts okay and again that 0.32 that's really insignificant so that's what i've got coming out um, of that and that matches what the label says 12 volt output okay so then i'm going to use a different cable um, that I have. This cable didn't come with the Easy Longer. Uh, this is a cable I had 
from another power supply that I've used extensively um, with my Rimstar machine. Okay, so now, again, I have to set the battery, okay? So using the V button, I press it in, turn it off, then long press it again, it's flashing 12 volt, flash, oops, that's what I needed. I gotta cycle through. All right, so now it's flashing 12 volts. I'll let it stabilize there. Okay, so now it's locked in on 12 volts. And again, just to be on the safe side, we'll test that output. So I plug this cable in here. Negative probe on the outside. Positive probe on the inside. And you see 12.41 volts. Okay. So that's what I need. Uh, so now I should be able to uh, plug this in to my Rimstar machine and have it work. Okay, so we've tested that output, verified that was 12 volts. We're gonna connect it into the machine. And you can see the machine display comes on. And uh, I'll put this on. There it is, it's working. So, there you have it. We've powered two different machines at two different voltages using the selectable voltage on the Easy Longer battery. There's four voltage settings. Uh, there's 12 volt, 16 and a half volts, 20 volts and 24 volts. So if your machine uses any one of those voltages, you should be able to power it with this battery. And um, so that's how we connect it up. That's how we know what voltage to use. Uh, so I hope that was helpful. We're going to do a part three of this video. Um, after I do performance testing with it, I'm going to run this, you know, go to bed and see how long it lasts. I'm going to run the AirSense uh, 10 uh, with the humidifier. Then I'll do another test without the humidifier. And then finally, I'll do my older Rimstar machine, which is actually the one I travel with. It's nice and compact. Um, and on that note, these are the inline moisturizers that I use when I travel. Um, these last for, you know, four or five nights. I don't wake up in the morning with cotton mouth or anything like that. Uh, so it works in place of having, you know, the humidifier tank that you fill with water in the machine. And, uh, and does an adequate job, at least for me. So, anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, we'll be back with performance data in part three. So, thanks for watching, and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Bye-bye.